three, go. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Hags Rod Toppers. It's a great new product from Hags. Uh, it's been out for almost a year now. Um, these can be installed either on a half inch fiberglass rod or half inch re-rod. Uh, re-rod, you're just going to have to weld them on. Uh, for most people, that's not an issue. But today we're going to install it on a fiberglass rod. So what we're going to put on first is we're going to put on the top part. And this is meant to be pinged on there. And um, we don't want to overdo that process. We just want it on there solid. So we'll talk about that when we install the lock on the rod. So first, let's take and put uh, our topper right on the rod. Slides on there real easily. Um, we're going to put it on hard surface. We just happen to be using a vise today. Um, I've got a flat chisel. Uh, you may want to use a center punch. But uh, this to me seems like it works well. And it works really well to have somebody hold this on the other end too so it doesn't spin. So I'm just going to kind of start on the bottom. And we don't want to overdo this either because we don't want to crack our fiberglass rod. So I'm just going to pound it firmly a couple times. And I'm going to go back to that same spot. And then I'm just going to move up a little bit higher on it. All right, at this point, I'm going to take and spin the rod, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. At this point, it should be pretty firm on there. It should be all set and ready to go. Um, one reason we don't want to overbeat on this is because we use this with the Hags multi-lock. Uh, the multi-lock is made to fit over the top of this. And if we beat on it too much, it gets out around and we're not able to remove our trap and our lock from the rod. Uh, that's a good feature to be able to know how to, or be able to have that option. Uh, it's less tangly in the truck and easier to carry that way. Um, I'm gonna switch the rod around now and we're going to do the bottom ring. Once again, the bottom ring will just slide on there. You need to determine what the bottom is like where you trap. Uh, if it's super soft, maybe you want to move it up a little bit higher. If it's a firm bottom, you maybe want it down. <clears throat> Around these parts, it usually uh, 10, 12 inches usually does the trick. And uh, if you got to go a little deeper, you can push it in past the ring too. Uh, bottom ring is super easy. Uh, we're just going to pound on that. doesn't matter if it gets out around. We just want to make sure that we don't crack our fiberglass. A couple taps on one side. We'll spin it. A couple taps on the other. And we're all set. One last thing I wanted to show you, and we kind of talked about uh, the top of the rod. Uh, the hole is only, only will accommodate a 3A3 rod. Um, which can be an issue sometimes and the reason that is is once again so the lock can slide over the top and we can remove it If they had a bigger top that wouldn't be possible So one thing I just sitting around thinking of and you can use anything um, You can stick a carabiner through there fits in there perfect and you got a bigger hole where you can put half inch through there uh, a lot of times on top of a beaver dam or something along that line you're gonna want a two foot half inch re-rod stake and uh, that solves that problem right there. Uh, if we're gonna remove our, our trap and our lock, we just need to take that off and it slides right off. So hopefully this uh, little video was educational for everybody and it's a, it's a great product.